Welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial on how to create and customize a new material in SOLIDWORKS. In this tutorial, we will be covering how to create a new material, how to customize its properties, and how to apply it to your models. So let's go! I have an impeller here, which I made a tutorial on how to make one of these in SOLIDWORKS. I put the link at the right corner of the screen. In the first step, I want to show you how to apply material to your model. If you have a single solid body like this, you just need to go to material. Uh, you can see the material is not specified yet. Once there, right click on it. There is a list of popular uh, materials which is manageable. You can add or remove some from uh, manage favorites. Okay. Now, uh, click on edit material. You can select your materials from here. You have plenty of options here, like plastic, steel, rubber, and many other materials. I'll choose uh, 1060 alloy and I'll hit apply. Then uh, you'll see that 1060 uh, alloy has applied to my model and the color has changed too. Uh, you can change this material anytime, anytime uh, you want. You can check if uh, if you make this model with alloy 1060, what would be the weight of this part. Just go to eva uh, evaluate uh, mass properties and you can see the weight of uh, this part. You can also delete the material from here. Now, uh, what if we have more than one solid body and the material of each is different? Okay, open this uh, toggle menu, find your material and right click on it and do the same thing to this body. Now you can see that this material, this uh, this uh, body has a material and the other one doesn't have. If you want to add material to the other one, you can do the same. Okay, in this part, I'll show you how to add a new custom material and change its properties. Let's say I need a plastic material which is similar to ABS but has different properties. I'll go to custom material and add a new category. Next step is to find ABS and copy to the new category that I've made. Paste it here. Now I have a new material which is ABS. I rename it to ABS2 or anything you want. Uh, I can change the model type, units, and some of its properties. Okay, now I have a new custom material. Okay, that's it. With these simple steps, you'll be able to easily create and customize new materials in SOLIDWORKS and apply them to your models.